Greg Stewart's the CEO and president of the Interactive Advertising Bureau. And along with Reg Briggs, he's the co-author of What Sticks? Why Most Advertising Fails and How to Guarantee Yours Succeeds. Over the last um, couple of years, I've had an opportunity, five years, I've had the opportunity to be involved in a major research project. In fact, to the best of my knowledge, it's the largest research project for advertising and marketing that's ever been undertaken. But the truth of the matter is, we, we don't really know what we're doing. We don't. With any real confidence, we don't really know what we're doing. And that presents a real problem if you're like me and you love the business of advertising and marketing. 36% of the campaigns that we studied, 30 marketers, blue chip marketers unfortunately, did not get the motivation right. Didn't do it, missed it. We then found 31% who didn't get their message right. They didn't get it in a way that the consumer would hear it and interpret it and begin to change their attitudes or their behavior. And finally, 83% of the media plans we looked at, we'd call seriously suboptimal. A lot of people just think they know what good advertising is. And I think at the end of the day, it's that sense of like, I know it in my gut that gets them in the most trouble. Marketing has been very slow to respond. Very slow to respond. And I'm concerned that what it does is it makes us last in line. I had the opportunity to sit with the CEO of a major um, uh, automotive company in the US. And I watched him ask his marketing person the same question five times. His question was, in essence, what do you mean we spend $100 million and we don't know what it does? And he kept coming back to it in different ways, and he still didn't get a good answer. Welcome, everybody, on behalf of the AFA and the AFA Digital Division. The Internet is creating some of the greatest change the world has seen to date. And that's not to take away from any of the activities that happened before, but it is significant in the global impact that it's having, both sort of individually in our lives and the way that we communicate with people, and I think the way that the world comes together. Change is happening. It's how we respond to that change is kind of the big issue, what we get into the book. You know, television as it changes too, with VOD and other things, you know, they're just, marketers are just not prepared to understand what that new world's gonna look like and how to, and how to operate effectively in it. Well, it violates my earlier rule, I realize, which is, you know, same budget, better results. This is less budget, better results. What if we'd increased that online? And what if we'd optimized against that in some way such that we went to from 2.5% of the budget to 6%. Using the same basic mathematics, Ford would have then sold an additional $600 million in retail level trucks. We found a number of them who had pieces of it, and that's what we aggregate in the book and have put together kind of a new approach. I'd like to communicate to marketers, right? There is a big opportunity to move our businesses forward. There's a big opportunity to move our careers forward by employing the principles of what I've called a new marketing. Think about this. What are the chances there could be a day where the CFO comes and says, geez, Greg, we got to spend more. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate your time today.